What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Anthony TV. Look, do me a favor, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Like this video and drop a comment if you got a comment, man. You already know. I appreciate your support. Hey, guys, today is Tuesday. And as you can see, I'm at the yard getting ready to pull out of here. I'm done for the day. And yeah, man, it's raining. It actually just kind of slacked up a little bit. It was coming down really hard. I'm glad I'm done. I feel kind of bad for my coworkers out there. Um, hopefully they don't get too soaked. But y'all see me right there, man. We are done for the day. Getting ready to head home. Shout out to all my new drivers out there, man. Let me know if you knew. Just drop it in the comments. Yeah, buddy. We done for the day, man. Overall, we had a pretty good day. Had a pretty good day. Until next time. Until next time. Yeah, guys. So overall, we had a pretty good day today. Um, other than getting soaked at my last stop, the day was pretty good. Um, you know, that's pretty much when it really started coming down for me. And then when I started getting closer to the yard, it started coming down. But, you know, I was already done at that point. So it is what it is, man. The rain, that's one thing about this job, man. And I've said this in previous videos, but we work in all types of weather, man. And the rain is no fun. Let me know what you guys think is worse, working in the rain or working in the snow. Let me know what you guys think, man. I definitely think working in the snow is a lot worse, but it's no fun getting soaking wet either. Listen, man, when you're working in this type of weather, make sure, especially you new guys, man, make sure you have some good um, shoes, slip resistant, tread safe, especially if you're going up and down the ramp. Uh, I mean, even if you have a lift gate, you still got to go into some of these customer locations. And a lot of times, you know, some of these floors can be slippery when you're going into some of these, uh, especially like restaurant and kitchen floors and stuff like that. Um, and when you're going inside freezers, that could be slippery, man. So make sure you got some good slip resistant shoes on. Believe it or not, man, I see guys in tennis shoes out here, man. I don't know how y'all do it. That's a accident waiting to happen in my book, but that's just my opinion, man. Make sure you guys have some good shoes. But yeah, shout out to all the new guys out there. Um, some of you guys are in trucking school right now, getting your CDL license. You guys always let me know in the comments. So hopefully you guys are doing, doing your thing in CDL school definitely got a, a spot waiting for you whenever you're ready to jump into this food service game or if you just want to jump into trucking in general whether you get into food service or go over the road or LTL or whatever you want to do in this trucking world you can do whatever it is you want to do man once you have those CDLs you got a lot of options once you get those CDLs, man. So you could do your thing. You know, a lot of people um, even get in the box truck. They like doing the box truck driving. Those guys make make decent money too. So, and you, you really don't even need a CDL to do box truck. So, it's a lot of options, man, in this trucking game. A lot of options. 
You might even want to be an owner operator at some point. Just know what you're getting yourself into uh, when you're thinking about becoming an owner operator and make sure you do all your research. You know, really make, make sure and really see if it makes sense for you to buy your own truck outright or do like a lease purchase option. You gotta do that research, man. Especially nowadays with the gas prices being so high. Truck prices being so high. You really gotta look at those numbers. Look at your expenses and just make sure it makes sense, whatever move you make. That's the best advice I can give you. Just make sure it makes sense for you and your situation. But look guys, we on the way home. Oh, and another thing, man, shout out to the young lady that dropped a comment. Um, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Uh, she told me she's in, she's working on getting her CDLs right now. I think she's in trucking school, but she says she's coming to food service, man. She's getting ready to get into food service. So shout out to the young lady who dropped that comment. Good luck to you. I hope you do very well in food service. Um, and let me know what your experience is. Once you get into food service, definitely come back, drop a comment. Let me know how your experience is. Even in training, man, I wanna hear what your training experience is like when you get into food service. Any female that get into food service, man, I take my hat off to you. Especially if you're a delivery driver. You guys know if you've been following the channel, we have a female driver. She's actually a shuttle driver though, so she does no touch freight, just dropping hooks. So, you know, that's pretty easy. But for a young lady to do the actual work as a delivery driver, yeah, I gotta take my hat off to you. Because uh, it's definitely a physically demanding job, but they are, women out here that do this job so it can't be done but look guys I just wanted to tap in with you real quick I'm off tomorrow so I'm getting ready to just chill out for the day man Look like it's gonna be raining pretty much for the rest of the day so I'll just be chilling out and um, I hope you guys be safe out there and one other thing before I leave I just want to I just want to mention man Listen, if you subscribe to anybody's channel, I don't care who it is out there, whoever your favorite YouTubers are, and you support their channel, you support them and what they're doing, um, and they add value to you in whatever way, before you leave that person's channel, if you watch a video of theirs, hit that like button for them, man. For those of you that don't know how YouTube work, it's all about like engagement. YouTube is all about engagement. And when you guys like the videos and you comment, it helps out with the YouTube algorithm and it pushes the video out to more people. People that probably would have never seen this person's video, it puts the video in front of those people. So now they have the opportunity to say, oh, what is this? Let me check this channel out. And they either can subscribe, like the video, or not. But at least it gives that video the opportunity to get in front of more people. And it, it could be a lot of the same people. And it also could be a totally different audience. So I'm pretty sure every, any channel you guys are subscribed to You'll hear them saying that, you know, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, all that type of stuff. You guys already know. But the content creator is telling you that for a reason, right? Definitely, if you guys, like I said, if you really support um, the YouTube content creator and you like what that person is doing, man, before you leave that person's channel, hit that like button, man. I'm subscribed to a lot of channels. It's time involved when making these videos. You know, the, the content creators definitely 
um, you know, they take out the time to make to make these videos. And listen, I've been on channels where I've heard YouTube content creators say it takes them hours just to get through the editing process. Some channels I've been on and say it take them a whole day just to get through the editing process. So, you know, I'm not knocking anybody that take that long to produce a video because everybody has their own way of doing things. Yes, you can get a good quality video done in less time, but everybody has their own way of doing things. And those videos that I watched that those people said it take them long that long to watch the videos, um, those videos were actually amazing, right? The content was amazing, the editing was amazing, and the quality was amazing. So um, I'm not knocking anybody's process, but I'm simply saying it does take time. And some people take more time than others. So if you appreciate the content that you're getting from that individual, definitely hit that like button, man. All right? So look, man, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm getting ready to get out of here. I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. Y'all take care. Peace.